You can turn anything into a touch sensor with the help of just a little spray paint and some electrodes. They figured it out at Carnegie Mellon. Let's take a look. Adding touch interactivity to objects is easy. First, we add a conductive coating to an object. Then, we attach sensing electrodes to the periphery of the desired interactive area. An optional top coat can be applied. With this setup, Electric can detect different touch locations as well as enable coarse, continuous touch tracking. Our sensing principle works by injecting a small electric current into the conductive layer using a pair of electrodes. We then measure the voltage at all other adjacent electrode pairs. When a finger touches the surface, some current is shunted, causing a localized reduction in voltage. To better estimate the touch location, we rotate the current emitting pair and repeat this process. This results in a mesh of cross-sectional measurements. Using tomographic reconstruction, we can create a 2D touch sensing image revealing finger locations. So uh, with this, all you would need is that conductive paint, uh, the electrodes attached to the bottom and using the shunting technique, which would send um, a, small about of, a small amount of electric current to the ground, you can turn nearly any shape into a touchpad. So this could be used um, maybe for an entire wall. It could be used to display things to maybe teach people. Uh, kids could learn in a very literally hands-on way. It's so awesome. It's super easy. A whole wall. Or anything. Yeah, or anything. They were showing in the video, they were showing how you could just take something that's the shape of a mm -hmm. game controller turn the whole thing into the touchpad, uh -huh. put a little mat over it with windows, and suddenly whatever the hole is, yes. you have the you have a remote control. Yes. It's I mean, it's just amazing. Well, think what we can do even for the consumer level. So like smartphones or smartphone cases even, you could have that level of control uh, besides just touching the screen or, you know, it, it kind of works like a touch screen, but it's not nearly as expensive as having a touch screen. Maybe this would be a solution if you badly cracked your phone, which a lot of us are known to do. Um, yeah. there's, it, there's just, or even the back side of it. Uh, I know many smartphones do have a sensor there, but this would be able to convert the entire back of the phone. Right, they were saying the way that you hold the side of your phone would inform what app it opens immediately. That'd so if you, great. if you hold it like this, it's probably gonna be turned into like Snapchat. Uh -huh. If you hold it this way, it's gonna be your camera. It's amazing, I, I love every bit of it. And then also if you have some kind of transparent um, conductive, uh, paint on it, right? then you can put a screen behind it and you replace the entire mechanism <laughs> at work that probably is a good amount of, of what's inside your phone to make it a lot thinner or or plot more pliable. Yeah, I love this a lot because it's a lot more affordable. It's an affordable way to do touch. Um, so you could do that whole wall and not spend, I don't know how much money uh, to make an entire wall a touch screen. Yeah, they also had, a. Uh, if you have a steering wheel. Oh, wow. So good. So you can. I love thinking of these applications. Swipe left, swipe right. If you want to turn your music up, you just go like that, you know, down, up, over the, the outside of your wheel. This could add to so many different applications. Um, I like this better than haptic technology. <laughs> uh, so this come, came from CMU, Carnegie Mellon University, PhD student uh, Yang Zong. And it's called electric. Uh, you can his uh, suggested uses include wood, plastic, drywall, Jello, oh Play-Doh. It's amazing. I don't know about spraying Jello, but because uh, I would definitely break a chunk off. But uh, with Play-Doh, that would be awesome as well. I don't. It'd be amazing to sculpt something and see uh, what kind of. Uh, Output this would be able to create. Yeah, I wonder the toxicity level of whatever. <laughs> well, it depends on paint. the paint, right? But what you'd have to hit that you know nice little intersection of things mm -hmm. that are um, aesthetically pleasing and also non toxic. Yeah. So uh, currently, this will be shown at the conference on human factors in computing systems in Denver. It's not at the consumer level yet, but if it were. What would you do with this? This requires some thought because it's just like opening or taking down those barriers of what you think you can use for uh, touch sensor technology. I know in the past there have been Kickstarters for turning anything into a game controller, but this would be 
another level of that even of computing or consumer facing uh, even like phone technology, which we all have, we all rely on. Let's take it to that next level. Let's have Apple take over the patent for this.